What's up guys? For today's Yum Yum Adventure, we're back in uh, Covent Garden and I'm quite excited about it because we're heading towards Kokoichibanya, which is the largest Japanese curry house chain in the world with over 1300 outlets. London's branch is the first to open in Europe and uh, I can't wait to dig in some sweet, sweet curry. Let's eat! The restaurant is modern and nicely decorated with comfortable booths to sit in. You can also choose to sit at the counter by the window. The open kitchen is displaying some spices in jars, reminding us of the curry experience. The menu is very well explained, with a section dedicated to how to order. Step 1 consists of selecting the curry sauce you would like to enjoy. In step 2, you can choose the amount of rice you would like to eat. Step 3 corresponds to the level of spiciness, going from mild to very spicy hot. Finally, step 4 gives you the chance to add any toppings displayed on the menu for an extra charge. I've ordered a seafood curry with lots of extra toppings because they look all so amazing. I've ordered some extra eggplants, tofu and okra, just to make it a bit more like healthier to have some vegetables in there. And you can see here like the sauce is really thick, really rich. Oh, I just love the color of it. You can see as well the rice looks delicious in there. I've ordered the 200 grams for rice because since we have the naan bread with it, I don't want to eat too much carbs. Let's have a bite with just the rice and the sauce. Mm. So freaking good! Uh, the Japanese curry really has its own taste, really its own flavor. It's quite different than the Indian one, but it tastes amazing by itself, honestly. Just the sauce. Mm. And I also order like the level 2 spice, which is not too bad. It adds a really nice kick to it. I think I would have tried maybe next time a level 3 or 4. That would be interesting. Let's have a bite of the okra. Mm. The okra has that kind of courgette texture to it. Tastes very really good with the sauce. The sauce covers a lot of the vegetable flavor, but I then I quite like it. Mm. Let's try next to eat some tofu. The tofu likes so all the curry flavor in it. Have a try. The tofu usually is a bit bland, so with the extra curry flavor adds really, really nice taste to it. Let's try to eat the eggplant. Look at that big piece of eggplant. Compared to the okra and tofu, it's quite good. Mm. Oh, I love the taste of eggplant. This one is cooked perfectly. You can see like it's a bit charred on top. Very nice. Not too dry either, which is pretty good and goes well with the sauce. But rice and the sauce by itself, it tastes so delicious. Mm. Since I've ordered a seafood curry, you can see here that I had some shrimp, I have some squid. Let's have a bite on the shrimp. They're so cute! Mm. You know, usually for a Japanese curry, I tend to eat like beef curry, chicken curry. But I think it's a nice chance to have like the choice of seafood. Like for shrimps and squid. It's pretty nice, it actually goes well with the curry. Surprisingly well. I'm happy that they have that much selection to choose from so that you can customize your own curry and you can put everything, anything in it. It's awesome. I've been dreaming about this curry for the whole week. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. I've ordered some omu rice, that's an omelette with the rice inside, and uh, some pork katsu and of course the, the curry sauce on the side with an extra kick, which is some cheese, uh, some great cheese. It's the first time I have cheese with my curry. Let's try this beauty. Some, let's get some nice rice, a little bit of uh, omelette, and a nice portion of 
and cheese as well. Oh. <laughs> Let's try this. Was it worth the wait? We'll find out. It's good. When I order my sauce, you can select different levels of hotness or spiciness. Unfortunately, for this particular dish, they had only the mild or the regular spice. I want some more, so I get this nice spice powder shaker. Let's have a little bit of it. A little bit, I said. Might be better now. How about a little piece of this beautiful pork katsu? Super crispy. A bit dry. But, oh, it's pork, not chicken. So you can't explain it to be very, very moist. Oh, I need to have some more sauce. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's amazing. I, I think I need some more spice powder. Okay. What does it give with a little bit of... I mean, with a lot of spice powder. How does it taste now? Mm. Much better. Much, much better. <coughs> a bit much. I love it. It's like a very, very strong cake. Ah, lovely. I just hit my curry. Mm. The grated cheese gives a nice creaminess to the dish. I think the grated cheese helps with the spices. I love this. Some nice rice. Some more sauce. Mm. I want to try some of this naan bread. Dip in the sauce. And... Enjoy. Mmm. Mm. Let's get some more of this omu rice. Nice omelette. I forgot to mention, we also have some pickles. So let's get some pickles and rice. And we just cut through the greasiness of the dish. Mm. Goes very well with it. I put my big boy's pan today and I finished my plate. So delicious. It's super windy here in London. Yeah. So we're done with lunch. Total was 42 pounds. We had two custom curries. One side dish and two drinks. It was overall good. We love the fact that we could customize our curries. But was it 42 pounds good? Don't think so. We know much cheaper places to get Japanese curry here in London. And okay. now let's go to Chinatown to grab some dessert. Located in the outskirts of Chinatown is this small cafe. Although the entrance can easily go unnoticed, the posters and desserts on display definitely caught our attention. These delicacies are souffle pancakes which are quite popular desserts in Asia. You have different toppings from fruits, cream and chocolate spread to choose from. Since the venue is small, they offer takeaway options. But they also have a limited seating area downstairs. I've ordered some pineapple fruit tea. The taste is quite bitter. And, uh, and they have like a lot of jelly at the bottom of it, just like a normal burger tea. They have some ice in there. And I think you can see some bits of apple. But it's a nice refreshing drink that will mostly go well with. Ta -da! This is a souffle pancake with, as you can see, some cream and some bubble sugar. Let's have a bite. Yeah. <laughs> the double bubbles on top or in the tapioca bowls. Very nice and chewy. It's very sweet because there's like some kind of syrup around the bubbles. Goes very good with the pancakes. They are so fluffy, so airy. Pretty good. Mm. Mm. 
It's like eating air. Oh, sweet. Fluffiness is real. Mm. Even the soup by itself is pretty nice. But to be fair, a bit bland. So that's why there's like the sugary tapiocas and the cream next to it. I believe there's some like maple syrup on top of it. It's very good. Mm. So that's it for today, guys. Please leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this yum yum adventure. Don't forget to check out our other videos where we cover Chinatown and Covent Garden. And hit like, click subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die.